Hi, I'm Graham from Castle Cameras and I've got something very exciting to talk about today. It's this, the all new Panasonic Lumix S5 Mark II. A couple of years ago, I reviewed the Panasonic Lumix S5, and I felt at the time that was going to be a superb full-frame camera for Panasonic. It shared a lot of the features with its bigger brothers, the S1s, uh, in terms of its uh, stills ability, its full-frame sensor, of course, uh, and its movie-making ability, but it was also a bit like a large GH6. It kind of sat somewhere in the middle. It was a real sweet spot, but more importantly, it was affordable. And sure enough, it did do well, but there were a couple of features that people did want improved. So I don't know if it's because it's this time of year, but you know, people have been praying for a Christmas miracle for a long time when it comes to Panasonic and their autofocus technology. Now there was nothing wrong really with Panasonic's contrast detect autofocus technology. They put a lot of effort into making it very usable, but ultimately the strides made forward by brands like Canon and Sony with their uh, autofocus tech has meant that Panasonic have decided to get involved and they've made phase detect autofocus a big part of this camera. So this is a, a big breakthrough for Panasonic Lumix users. This is the first time phase detect autofocus has ever appeared on a Panasonic Lumix product and by God have they done a good job of it. It has 779 AF points across the sensor. This is an all new 24 megapixel sensor, by the way. And uh, it's a hybrid phase detect autofocus system. So certain scenarios, the phase detect autofocus will kick in. Um, those sort of scenarios being when there's like a large group of people, fast moving objects, backlit scenes, really complex stuff where contrast detect autofocus has traditionally struggled. Now, Panasonic has got that covered with this all new face detect autofocus technology. Uh, and I can show you a few examples here of how well this system works. So Panasonic Lumix have really thought about who's going to be using this camera. And, you know, obviously it's going to be stills photographers, but they're really going after content creators. Those guys that are out there, not only taking pictures, but they're out there making videos and they're doing it day in and day out. They're making videos on their own. They're making them for YouTube. They're making them for TikTok. They're making them for Instagram. They're making their own short movies, but whatever they're doing, they're generally doing it on their own. So they haven't got a big production team. They need a camera that's reliable, that can have reliable autofocus, which this certainly has with the new phase detect autofocus technology but on top of that it needs to be able to capture a scene smoothly without the need for extraneous equipment so forget your gimbal you don't need that anymore this has got incredible image stabilization technology it's their new active image stabilization technology which is up to 200 times more effective 
than their existing image stabilization technology. It's very, very good. And I must say, I've seen some examples that Panasonic showed us, it's brilliant. And on top of that, it's got certain things that no other manufacturer's got, particularly this great uh, example that they showed us of when someone's walking. So traditional image stabilizations, even with the most advanced image stabilizations out there, it doesn't correct for walking. So you still get that very slight up and down movement when people are walking along, either looking at themselves filming or, you know, filming a subject, but they're also walking along. But Panasonic have thought about that and they've corrected for it. So now you get these ultra smooth, very stable shots, even if you're walking along filming yourself, in a vlogging sort of style, or you're walking along filming another subject. Of course, being a Panasonic Lumix, this is an absolute beast for video, and Panasonic have not disappointed in terms of video stats. This thing does 6K internal, uh, 420-10 bit, and it does cinema 4K and 4K internal, 422-10 bit. It's also got a Type A HDMI socket, which is awesome, uh, because those little connectors can be a bit of a pain when you're using an external recorder. Um, so of course that's well featured. It's got a it's got a headphone jack and a microphone jack, of course. It also does four channel audio with uh, with the proper XLR accessory, so you can get some really high end video quality on here. Another great feature, which is new to this camera, is the ability to do real time LUTs. So you can record in vlog, but you can apply your real-time LUT. So you, although you're recording in vlog to get that extended dynamic range, which is like 14 stops of dynamic range, you can apply your own LUT that you load up via an SD card and you'll also see it on the screen and it will bake it into the footage. So that cuts down on editing time as well, having to do color grading, which is an amazing feature, I think. Uh, again, helping those content creators that just uh, are one man bands, they need to be able to do things quickly and effectively. So having that real-time LUT upload is a great feature. So along with the real-time LUT and other built-in video features, this thing has got unlimited video recording time and it achieves that through some really clever design. Not only has it got the, uh, the mag alloy chassis to uh, dissipate heat from the sensor, it's also got a feature which I've never seen in any other camera, a built-in fan inside the pentaprism. So this space up here, which was traditionally full of a big pentaprism from, from an old DSLR, but we've still got it, which has been filled with things like viewfinder and other electronics in the past. Panasonic not only have got their viewfinder here, but they've also managed to squeeze a fan unit just in here. So it, there's, a, there's a vent underneath the pentaprism, which draws in cold air. Uh, it then uses the fan to cool down the sensor and then it exhausts the hot air through the side of the pentaprism through some vents here. Amazing piece of design, which allows unlimited recording time. This makes this a really powerful video camera. Now, of course, this is also a stills camera, let's not forget. So we've got a brand new 24 megapixel sensor that's been developed for this camera in partnership uh, with Leica, as part of Panasonic and Leica's new L squared partnership. It also has an all new processor, which enables some of those crazy video stats, but it also helps with things like the autofocus system, the image stabilization, and of course, the stills technology, which allows for things like 96 megapixel raw, high resolution single shot mode. 
uh, where it you know composes four sort of images together uh, to to make one high resolution image. Uh, it also will shoot at up to 30 frames per second in RAW with full AF tracking ability. So it's a real weapon for high speed shooting in terms of uh, uh, sports photography or wildlife photography or uh, aeroplane photography, that kind of thing, where you need very fast frame rates, reliable tracking. This camera's got you covered. So of course it also has full weather sealing, uh, has the ability to use the battery grip, the Panasonic Lumix BGS5 battery grip. So for those of you that like using the battery grip, Panasonic got you covered there as well. Uh, there are firmware updates in the pipeline as well, some free, some paid for. So the free ones include things like live image composite mode. Uh, they're going to be doing it the, uh, soon. So for things like star trails and long exposures, that's going to be an amazing feature to, to, to have added to this camera. There's also going to be paid for ones. So things like uh, RAW via HDMI for video recorders, that kind of thing. So on top of all of that, there's going to be another model as well, the S5 Mark IIx. And the difference between the two, it's going to be blacked out, it's going to have all this white writing removed and the red ring. Uh, it's going to have 5.8K ProRes recording over SSD uh, via USB. So for video shooters out there, that might be the model to go for. The only caveat is not going to be available to about June time, uh, whereas the S5 Mark II will be available to, to buy from the 23rd of January. We're, we will be taking pre-orders uh, right from today. Uh, there's also going to be early bird offers, trading offers, trading promotions, so uh, some really attractive propositions to get you into this camera. And now you want to know, I guess, the most important thing is how much is this going to cost? Well, unbelievably, you're getting all of those features for under two grand, so 1999 body only. There's also kits in, with this 20 to 60 mil lens. Uh, there's a, another kit with a 20 to 60 mil lens and a 50 mil lens too. There's tons of lenses obviously in the L mount range already. Um, over 61 actually, just looking at my notes, uh, um, with 14 uh, Lumix X lenses. So some really high quality lenses available for this camera already. Uh, and of course, with the adapter, the world is your oyster. This is gonna be a superb camera. This is gonna be really that watershed moment that I was talking about with the S5. The S5 II has all the features that people have said were missing from the S5. Panasonic have listened, they've answered, they've made an incredible camera that really can take it to the competition. Uh, I see the competition for this camera being squarely the R6 Mark II from Canon, um, the A7 IV from Sony, um, but it really takes the fight to those guys in a big way. This is a very, very realistic uh, alternative to the Sony or Canon. So pre-order now. Uh, head over to our website, castlecameras.co.uk. You'll find everything over there you need and more. Uh, I've been Graham. Thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.